You know, my dad, um, he always loved all kinds of sports. And um, for us growing up, sports was what we did as a family. And his dream was to be able to have enough money to have season tickets for the Dodgers and the Lakers and whatever sporting event there was. And for him to end up being the owner of the team really shows he was a fan first. And I think that's why the fans could relate to him as an owner because he was one of them. My name is Jeannie Buss. I am part owner and president, also governor of the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, in 1979, um, you know, my dad was excited about the idea that not only would he be buying the Lakers, but also the LA Kings hockey team and the forum where they played. And he said, imagine being able to go to any concert that you want to go to and sitting in the front row because you own the building where they're playing. And that's exactly what he did. The very first night, the, the day of the press conference, he made sure he got a key because he wanted to be able to go into it anytime he wanted. And he took a chair and sat at center court just in, and just took it all in. Again, I think that that's why the fans believed in him so much because he did exactly what you would do if you were a fan and the next day you woke up and you actually owned the team. It's hard for me to believe that I own the Lakers. Which this is a dream come true. I mean, you know, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is a, really a big hero of mine. And of course that, that was uh, very exciting for a teenager uh, as I was a senior in high school. I got to see, I got to see Elton John and the Eagles and you know, every kind of event that you could imagine and um, going to a Lakers game and seeing Magic Johnson and, and uh, just, uh, it was just, it was just fun, fun, addictive fun. The Los Angeles Lakers select Urban Magic Johnson, Michigan State. Six, eight, it's hard to imagine what the draft was like now with so much media coverage, but you know, they, they weren't all in New York waiting to get drafted. You know, they drafted Magic Johnson and they flew him out to Los Angeles. So it was going to be the first time that my dad ever met him. He uh, came to our house. He rang the doorbell. I had the honor of opening the door. And here was this kid with this smile that just blew you away. So I uh, escorted him and Bill Sharman into the house and asked them if they'd like something to drink, made some small talk, and Magic said, you know, I'm really happy that I was drafted by the Lakers, and I'm gonna play here for three years, and then I'm gonna go play for the Detroit Pistons, because that's where I'm from. Like, my like eyeballs blew out of my head. I couldn't believe what he said. And, um, you know, and you, you got to imagine, I was 17 and Magic's 19. I mean, we're very close in age. He's just another teenager to me. And, um, but he had this command and this vision of exactly who he was and what he, you know, what he loved doing. And I, <laughs> wait, no, wait, this isn't the plan. So I ran upstairs to talk to my dad and say, you know, he just told me that He's gonna play for three years and then he's gonna leave. And my dad didn't miss a beat, didn't even stop what he was doing. He said, you know, as soon as he puts on a Laker uniform or walks out on that floor, he's never gonna leave. And that's exactly what's happened because, you know, Magic could be the mayor of Los Angeles. He could be the governor of California. That's how much the state loves him and that's how much he loves this town. My dad knew he was the ultimate matchmaker and uh, they really were, I think, the most special relationship between an owner and a player that's ever been and probably ever will be. So as we played pool to four or five o'clock in the morning, he was picking my brain on what I wanted to do after basketball. And 
I was telling him I wanted to be a businessman. So what he would do was put me in business situations, and I didn't know he was doing that, to get me ready for life after basketball. And he became my advisor, and it was, it was tremendous because with him <clears throat> and his expertise, I knew I had a chance to be successful away from the basketball court. My dad groomed me from a young age to be in the position that I'm in now. He encouraged me and taught me and growing up in it, I learned a lot. For example, when my dad was selling out the forum and back in those days, the rule was that you never put your home games on television. And you know, my dad talked about starting a channel that would show all the, the games, all the home games. And I was panicked because I said, well, if, if we do that, then no one's ever gonna come watch the team play. It's too easy to stay home and watch it. And he said, no, you have to think of it, Jeannie, as instead of, of competing, we're actually just increasing the size of the forum because not everybody who wants to see the game can fit into the forum and we have to expand that. And, you know, it was that kind of thinking that, and, and for me to, to um, experience it, that certainly has helped me as a, an executive today. And he knew I enjoyed it, and he knew it was something that we could do together. And, um, you know, I was one of those kids that would offer to bring donuts to the meeting I would bring the donuts in and instead of leaving, I would sit in the corner and listen to what was going on. So he knew it was something that I was um, interested in and engaged in. And, um, you know, so it, 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 it prepared me again for where I am today. On Monday, we lost what we all know to be the greatest owner in sports ever. He was a brilliant and incredible owner, but he was even a better person with a great heart. His vision has transcended the game, and we are all, all spoiled by his vision and by his drive to win year after year after year. I'd like to ask all of you to please join us in a moment of silence to honor the great Dr. Jerry Buss. Lakers meant so much to my father and it was really important to him that we continue that. That was his wish for us. He was very disciplined in how he set everything up with all my siblings having a role and uh, teaching us well. And um, you know, I'm, I'm humbled by uh, Laker Nation, the fans of the Lakers, because they are the best fans of any team in any city. Um, they love this team. We want to make them proud. We want to make my father proud. And we're committed to doing that and getting the, the team back on track. I was thinking that when you watch the Lakers play, it's like watching a movie. <laughs> Every conceivable thing happens. It seems almost like it's a script sometimes. 